So does anyone have any questions that you want me to answer? I have. Of course you do. <laughs> yeah. What's up? So I have uh, two questions. One is more personal, but very urgent for me and very I'm important. All about, yeah, I'm all about those personal questions. And another is not so personal, but will, will be more interesting for other guys. So which one to start? Um, probably the most more personal one, because if for whatever okay. reason I, I have to stop the class, at least I'll answer your more urgent one. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like a career advice. Okay, great. Um, because now I'm on the stage, like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm working for five years in one company. It's my first company. Uh, they making we are making slots slot game. Do you know what it is? I guess yeah, of course know. I do. Yeah, <laughs> it's shitty stuff, but uh, <sighs> this stuff made me uh, an artist uh, as I am at the moment. Uh -huh. And actually, um, I'm I love my company. I love my coworkers, but the problem is that uh, my uh, task became not so interesting. Uh -huh. And uh, the more I work them, the more I think that I need to go somewhere and find another job. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, uh, actually today I had a job interview with other guys and uh, they <laughs> proposed me to be an art director on uh, another slots, but uh, I work in the huge one and they are like, they have nothing. And... Uh, um, my my uh, company is the best in the industry. The company have have like <laughs> nothing. So I don't know what to do. And uh, oh, when I, uh, I have a job proposition, I always so afraid to take it, and I just uh, stay in the position I I am and uh, do nothing. So uh, um, can you advise me uh, what is the best uh, to stay as it is and have a, an opportunity to study, mm -hmm. to take particularly your class, maybe more of your class, maybe other classes, and uh, just uh, be the way when I uh, am or take risks and go somewhere else? And uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. So, so humans have the tendency to react only under crisis. Do you, do you know what that means? Yeah, they like immobilize or the hidden abilities. Yeah, well, like they'll, they'll, they won't like, like you, this decision's hard for you right now, but if your company would happen to be laid off, like, like lays you off or whatever, then the choice becomes very clear, right? Um, you start pursuing the things you wanted to do. <laughs> Right? Because if you don't have a job anymore, there's not, that, that variable is not holding you back or holding you still. Okay? So, mm. in, my, in my experience, what I'm trying to say, just to, just to make a very clear statement, uh, climate change, right? Like, it's a thing that most uh, climate scientists agree is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, but only until the earth starts to set itself on fire will humans truly it seems like that's when they only will truly be reactive, right? Mm -hmm. So for instance, there's a really enormous hurricane that was potentially amplified because of climate change, right? Mm -hmm. and now people are being a little bit more concerned about the policies that are going through uh, about, uh, about climate change more so than, than before, because, you know, now that there's some re potential repercussions, people are now paying attention to it. That's what I mean. It, it, there's this, this, this weird thing where humans will only react until crisis. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now you're not in a crisis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like it may seem like you, you, you don't know what you want to do. That's fine. But you're not in a crisis. Like you're not going to be in the street tomorrow, are you? Mm, of course. No. Right. And so the decision seems harder. But I always like to say, well, what if you were in a crisis? What would you do? Right. What if, what if, what if your job, like for whatever reason, people stopped gambling and they don't want slot machines anymore. Right. Or maybe they don't want your work anymore because they found someone better or well, I don't know. Or maybe like, um, 
uh, a catastrophe happened and the studio gets shut down. Stuff that are out of your control. What would you do next? Like, what would you do? So uh, if uh, people don't want to play slots anymore, I just uh, don't need to work on I, uh, any of these two companies. Yeah, but well, what are you going to do now? Like, because that's your job, isn't it? Yeah. So what uh, would you do? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, tomorrow, your boss comes into to your office or to your desk and says, you're fired. Actually, I have some savings and uh, I can live for a few months and will try to find another artsy job. So it's not that, that big problem if uh, slots will shut up. Slots okay. in particular, but not all the game, <laughs> game dev. So, so, so think about that position, right? And that's kind of where I want you to, to live in terms of your, your mindset, okay? So then once you think this way, then you ask the next question is, like I said, like, what would you want to do with your time, your extra time? Like, what would you rather be doing? Because now you're free from this, this responsibility, potentially, right? And that's what I'm really interested in. And so you, you already kind of ha are answering that question, you know? And I'm just trying to make it very clear to you, the answer. So if you wanted to do something else and you don't feel interested in this work, right? Um, what, and this other job, uh, and I'll tell you right now, being an art director doesn't mean you'll have more time. It might mean you actually have less time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So and don't, don't so, so I, I mean, to be honest, if you feel like your company you're working for is already great, there's no reason to leave. Okay. The only problem is you're just not doing interesting things, but you know what? Yeah. That's, that's what is, that's what it's like to be a professional. Even if you work for your favorite company in the world, you probably still end up doing something you don't want to do. It's just, that's just going to always happen, okay? No matter where you work, okay? Mm -hmm. so, so don't get that twisted. Don't think that there's going to be a, a candy land of an, a, a workplace where every day you're drawing and doing everything that you want to do, okay? It, it just mm -hmm. still doesn't exist. Like even like, like so my job right now mostly is like teaching, right? And that's something that I do love and I enjoy pretty much every minute of it. But I don't like, you know, uh, like going through the emails and organizing the class and doing all stuff like that, like the, 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 the brute, the brute work stuff, right? Like being kind of my own, being my own secretary, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't like doing all that stuff. I don't like managing like my, my, um, I don't like managing my business, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right. I like, um, teaching. I like. Uh, instructing i like helping people out i just don't like managing it like the finances of it uh the taxes and all that kind of stuff i don't like it you know <laughs> yeah in fact uh, uh, after i get past a certain uh, f uh some financial hurdles that i have in front of me like i'm going to get like a financer like or not a fan like someone who like an accountant someone who will manage all my finances so i don't have to do any of that right and I already have plans of getting like someone to be kind of a full-time employee to help me manage my classes too, you know, do all the, do all the paperwork type stuff. I don't want to do any of that stuff. All right. I just want to paint and teach how to paint and learn mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. But I still have to do all that stuff. And maybe one day I will get to the point where I don't have to do anything right, other than the things I love, but that takes time. Okay. And so, so even like, yeah, even myself at the stage that I'm at still have to, to do stuff like this, okay? Um, so the kind of the, the quick answer to this really is if you can do it already, like if you could do whatever it is that you wanna do right now, then you should start doing it. And if you can't, then start building towards it. You, you just gotta be patient for whatever, and I think I, I talked to you about this actually before, right? Like your mm -hmm. generation specifically is impatient. Yes. Right, just be patient. You know, that's what, that's why um, Einstein said one of the greatest, um, what is the, the most powerful thing about compound interest is how um, the results will end, you know, the, the, the final results over a long time. Meaning one plus one is two, right? Two plus two is four. Four plus four is eight. 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 16 is 32, 
32 plus 32 is 64. 64 plus 64 is 128. 128 plus 128 is 256. 256 times 2 is 512. 512 times 2 is 1024. 1024 times 2 is 2048. Do you see how I'm going with this? And you, can, you keep doubling down, right? But that takes time before you start getting into the six digits of epicness. You understand mm -hmm. me? Yeah. Um, but like, let's say right now, you're only at two plus two, and it's only four. And you were just at two. So you're just like, that's not that much. <laughs> right? So you feel like, uh, you, you still feel like, oh, man, you know? But mm -hmm. if you keep at it, it will eventually get into super large numbers, you know? That's what I've discovered. That's why I've switched my model of teaching from motivation and inspiration to patience and resilience. Because I mm -hmm. discovered the reason why I'm so um, like effective with my um, career, the reason why I have a lot of control over my career, you know, is because of compound interest, right? Let me explain. So when I was first starting, uh, I was a student. And then when from the student, I had a job, okay? And then when I had a, a job, you know, um, it, was a, it was a basic job, like a very simple job, right? Um, but that job gave me some skills. And those skills helped me get the next job, which was freelancing for uh, arcade games like the ones you would find in arcades, like those, the, the booth games, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like a car yeah. racing game. Yeah. And I did stuff for that. And then I, then I had some freelance doing um, stuff for Hasbro. I worked on like toys, okay? But then I, I, I got my first real big job at Sony Santa Monica, right? Which taught me how to become really good at painting, you know? But that mm -hmm. took years to get there. And then when I got there, I got really good at painting, you know? And then that painting skill got me my next job. Uh, which was, uh, I moved back down to Irvine, but I was so good that they, they raised my salary and they put me in a senior position. So I went from junior to senior in about two years, right? Mm -hmm. and, then, and then from that job, I was able to work in movies, right? Because I got so much better. And then on those movies, like, those jobs got me jobs at Blizzard, work on the Cinemax team. And I was able to work in the Cinemax team. And then all of that compounded, right? And now uh, I'm doing 10 minute paintings. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, give me another two years, maybe I'm going to be doing one minute paintings, making games in like a day, because that's what I'm also learning, right? I'm learning coding and game dev development, right? Mm -hmm. But it compounds. You know, who I'll be 10 years from now is going to be epic. You know what I mean? but I'm patient. I'm willing to wait 10 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to say it's going to take you 10 years. I think you actually have good skills. It might take you maybe a couple of years, right? Just be patient. Just do it. Just keep going to events, keep putting your portfolio from people, get feedback from all sorts of people. Yeah. Take classes, not just mine, take other classes. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Like there's plenty of other great teachers out there. I'm not the only one that exists, right? There's many, many great, great instructors out there that will give you insight that I can never give you, you know, mm -hmm. that's how it works. That's, I didn't learn just from one person. I learned from many people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like maybe for me, what I did for you was to give you the, the courage and the confidence to, to keep pursuing this, but maybe teacher a gives you the tools to achieve the quality of work that you're always looking for. And maybe teacher C gave you the, the insight that helped you understand how to brand yourself, you know, the way that you like, you know what I mean, like all that, all that stuff adds up. That's what I'm trying to get at. And if you, if you only look short term, then it looks so, you seem so desperate, but think about it like this. Let's say you live to be 80, 90 or hundred years old. Like think about how small of time it would be five years is yeah. right. It's like nothing. It's just like a yeah. blink of your life, right? Like I've devoted about 10 years of my life. That's a third of my life right now to this thing. Mm -hmm. Right. But like to get from blizzard to, um, or from, from blizzard to, from Sony to blizzard took me five years or actually, no, I'm sorry, two, no, three years. Mm -hmm. So that's only a 10th of my life as of now. 
Okay, that's like nothing. Right? Mm -hmm. Like it, it was like a blink of an eye. It like seemed like I never worked at Blizzard. It was like so it happened so fast, you know? And so that's kind of my my big advice to you, buddy. And hope that helps. And so so my advice is to continuously push your portfolio, right? Mm -hmm. Keep painting, keep working on it. Stay at your job, just work just an hour here, an hour there. What I used to do is I would practice at work. I would do lunch sketches. I would get my colleagues. We would do it together, you know? And then um, uh, I would also paint early in the morning, right? When I left mm -hmm. Blizzard, uh, I wanted to teach. So I would do one hour of uh, videos, my Gumroad videos, the very first ones I've ever did. Uh, I did them at work at Blizzard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I just I came in like seven or eight in the morning. I did them from seven to, to nine. And then I would spend the nine to nine thirty. Um, basically, uh, nine to nine thirty. I would spend basically uh, uploading them and all that stuff, you know, and promoting them. And then that was that allowed me to leave Blizzard after uh, two months of doing that. Mm. But that's because I always practiced. I always felt like there was time. I never said to myself there was never time. There was always time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, let me make uh, clear your advices because now it just gives me more questions to myself. Uh, like your advice is about to make myself better first, uh, a better artist, and then to take risks and then uh, to make changes uh, to. I'm almost saying that there's no reason to take risks. You just keep at it, and then eventually you'll just be able to leave without, <laughs> without worrying about it. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. I used to take risks, and I, honestly, I don't like this idea of taking risks. Like, I get it. Like, people should take risks, um, you know, to try new things and expand their, their abilities. But I don't mean it in that way, like, where you should just take these large risks. Take reasonable risks. Like, if you train yourself for, for, for years and you, you apply for a company that you've always wanted to work for and then they just hire you, is that really a risk? It's not, right? It's like mm -hmm. strategy. <laughs> like if you spend the next year or two training on, on the side and then you, apply to, you keep applying to companies, you keep going to events and then you get hired, that, how is that a risk? That's not mm -hmm. a risk, right? It's like it's well thought through, it's a strategy and you're just mm -hmm. being patient, that's the difference. Because a risk would be, you know what? I'm just going to go off the grid. I'm going to fight. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to go right to find all these jobs and go like burn through my savings. That's a risk. That's mm -hmm. unnecessary because there's no promise that you will get a job, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. But there is, there is, there is some rationale to working on your work outside of work and then eventually getting a job, you know what I mean? Somewhere else doing what you like. Yeah, right now it sucks, I'm sure, but trust me, no one else, there's a lot of people that don't even have jobs that wish they would be in this position, okay? So you have to be appreciative of what you have and say, okay, look, I know I work at casino games, it's not glorious, you know, and glamorous, but it's a job, you know? It, it will allow me to, to, to educate myself, to, to take vacations and go to places where I can learn more and meet more artists, you know, be more inspired. Mm -hmm. uh, I should take advantage of that. I shouldn't sit around and just kind of just be happy with what I have. Just, just be complacent, you know? That's, a, that's my strategy for you. That's my advice is to stay at your job. Just be, just be working towards your goal. Mm -hmm. Yes, I gotta go. No, I, go <laughs> I guess Philip. I have to go, yeah, I have to go right now. Yeah, it's 11.20, I have to go get her. All right, um, but I actually have to get going. I have to go pick up my daughter before this class is over. But I'll answer more questions. Um, I'll, I'll, what I'll do, oh wait, did I miss your critique? Oh, maybe I did miss your critique. I'm sorry, Philip. <laughs> I forgot. So Philip, because I, I remember what happened. I looked at your work first, and then I was like, oh, well, wrong order. So I'll just give you feedback, and then I'll head, head out, all right? And then I'll, I'll answer more questions next time, guys. Apologize. But uh, Philip. Yeah, I think you're on the right path, but the same criticism that I had to many of the other students, you need to push your forms, okay? Like you're, you're being really um, safe 
with your your forms and your contrast you're just kind of like staying on the border you're, you're sort of tracing them what you should do um is to do like a, a little grid drawing like a three-dimensional drawing like kind of like a geo type of thing like a wireframe on top of this and so you can see the forms better but one thing that you did really well that i like is that you're actually staying consistent with your local values i think that was one thing that we were struggling with so you actually f solved that problem but then you ran into another problem so uh do that for this character and i'd say pick another character only focus on two characters so that way you can really practice the, the ability to push your forms. Sound good? All right, cool. Good luck, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go now. Thanks again, guys, I appreciate y'all. I'll talk to you guys next week. Again, I'll, like I said, we'll make sure that there's more time for Q&A. And uh, yeah, laters, y'all. Thank you for watching this video, I appreciate it. Please subscribe to watch more in the future. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you like this content, you can go to my website, robotpencil.net, where you can find mentorships, tutorials, and a Patreon to get more exclusive content. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in my next videos.